Hi, good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, so can you introduce yourself? And my name is Ria Revenye. Okay, so are you single? Yes. Do you have any boyfriend or living partner? Yes, sir. Living partner. Would you ask permission to him that you will work abroad as a domestic helper? Yes, sir. So what did he say? Yes. No problem about the living partner, sir. Okay, do you have children? No. No. Did you ask permission to your parents that you are planning again to work as a domestic helper? Yes, sir. So it's okay for them? Yes, sir. No problem about my parents, my family. No problem then. Okay. So can you tell me about your working experience? Yes. I have experience in Saudi Arabia for almost two years and four months. Okay. Two years and four months, finished yes. contract yes. with one employer? Yes. Okay. So can you tell me your obligation or your work as a domestic helper there in Saudi? Uh, I wash her clothes. Can you speak louder? I'm washing her clothes, okay. cleaning, and I'm watching her baby. So you take care of EBP? Yes. How old is the child? Uh, ten. Ten years old. Ten, then nine. Nine. Eight, then eight. the youngest is newborn. Newborn. So you know how to take care of newborn? Yes, I know. Can you tell me how did you took care of a newborn baby? I want to change the diaper. Mm -hmm. I want to say in time, the newborn is a very special child. Uh, so you need to be careful, right? Yes, yes, I know, sir. So if your employer in Malaysia will be all also asking you to take care of newborn and their children, it's okay for you also? No problem about that, sir. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so your responsibility in Saudi Right? Yes. It's to clean to all around household chores. Yes, yes, sir. And to take care of children. Yes, sir. So in Malaysia, if you will be also asked by your employer to do the same thing, it's okay for you? It's okay, no problem. How about cooking? Uh, you I know how to cook? I know, but not hard. Not, uh, you're not good. Okay. But are you willing to extend your learning? Yes, yes, yes. I to Yes. Okay, that's great. So that if your employer in Malaysia will be asking you to cook for them, it's okay for you? No problem, sir. Okay, do you have any experience in taking care of elderly or sick person? No, sir. No. Yes. But if the employer in, your employer in Malaysia will be having a elderly or sick person? No problem, but I will try work hard. Then... So you will try to work hard, no problem? Okay? No problem about you. Okay. So you've been working for Saudi for two years, almost two years and four months, right? Yes, yes. Okay, can I know what's the reason you did not renew your contract? Mm, because I want, I want to go back to Philippines. You want to go back to Philippines, and yes. um, after that, you did not go back to Saudi. Why? In Saudi is very sensitive. Place. Very sensitive. Yes. So and I want to go another country. You want to go to another country? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay. So are you willing to wait for two to three months processing period? Yes, sir. No problem. And are, are you very sure you want to make this application as a domestic helper in Malaysia? Yes. So why do you want to work again as a domestic helper? Because of my future, I want to make my house. Uh, I want to make my house sir, and my future. So you want to build a house now? Yeah. So you want to work, okay. And uh, why did you choose Malaysia? Because Malaysia is safe country. Safe country? Yeah. Okay, in Saudi, are you the only housemaid there? Yes, yes. So if you will be two domestic helper in their in their employer's house in Malaysia, is it okay to you? No problem, sir. Are you willing to clean a big house? Yes, sir, no problem. Okay. How about working with a long distance communication with your family? It's okay for you? It's okay, sir, because I have experience in Saudi. Okay, can you tell me your experience in Saudi? You don't have cell phone also? Yes, Saudi, no mobile, no day off, and you want to rest, no problem. Oh. But you can ask your employer. Okay, so it's okay for you in that situation? Yes, yes, no problem. Okay, so for example, if I am the employer, Rhea, and yes. I'm going to choose one housemaid. How can you convince me to hire you as my domestic helper? Uh, I will do my 
best and I try to work hard with you, sir, because I want to help my family and I want to help my family and I want to make house. I I need money. You want to have your own house? Yeah. So you need a lot of money? Yes, sir. Okay. I will do my best according to you. So if, if the employer will select you, what can you promise to them? Uh, I'll be honest, uh, I work hard and I'll be honest with my employer. Mm -hmm. That's all? That's all. You will be honest and work, work hard? Yes. Are you a person that can be trustworthy? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me some of your uh, attitudes and characters that will mostly affect yourself as a domestic helper? Uh, you want to I clean your room mm -hmm. and anything. I I'm, I'm not. Uh, you will do everything. Yeah, yeah I will do it. Okay, no so problem. no problem. You will you will not have any problem to your employer. Yes, sir. I promise, sir. You promise that, okay. So I think that's all, Raya. Right, yeah? uh, thank, thank you, you sir. And see you in Malaysia soon. Okay, sir. No.